Hey guys, it's Suzanne Mosley with Us Born Books and More. You can find me on Facebook and YouTube at Suzanne Shares Books. And I'd love if you'd give me a subscribe below um, to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram at Suzanne underscore shares. You can find my Us Born Books and More website with all these gorgeous, amazing books, SuzanneSharesBooks.com. So I'm excited. Today I've been updating seasonal videos on my website. I've got a ton from the past that have Christmas titles, several of those are out of print so I wanted to update my Christmas um, video and I've never made a Halloween video because we have never had um, that many Halloween books until the last couple years and this is the most uh, we've ever had so I wanted to do a Halloween video as well so definitely check out those other videos on my website and let's get started with our Halloween books here we go so we have First up, the My First Halloween Activity Pad and then the Little Children's Halloween Activity Pad book. This one is geared for ages four and up. Um, it's similar, we have a Christmas one, very similar. We've had others in the past. So it has some very simple um, activities, definitely geared for younger kiddos, but there's also some stickers as well. Super fun, lots of things to doodle, dot to dot, drawing, mazes, just all sorts all sorts of spooky fun in the little children's activity book. Now this one is brand new for fall 2022, my first Halloween activity pad. This is one of our tear, um, tear off pads. So it's a great one to share with multiple siblings um, because it is easy to literally tear them out. All sorts of fun activity puzzles. And honestly, um, especially when my, my kiddos were younger, I loved these as an alternative to electronics. You know, a lot of times they're asking for my phone because they're bored, but if I had a really cool activity book from Usborn Books and More, um, they love that. Um, and then, um, in something like this, our magic painting book. This is the Halloween magic painting book. Um, we have a whole series, I love these. Literally, the colors come out when uh, you add water. And make sure with all of our magic painting books that you know about the magic flap because you need to put it behind the one that you are painting because the water will bleed through to the next one and you won't get to paint it. So make sure to use that special flap. Um, and you can, it, uh, it comes with a paintbrush, but you could also use a Q-tip. You could just use your finger, all sorts of fun things. Um, now let's look at some other activity ones. These are our sticker books. These are so cute. I was so surprised. This one, it says brand new for 2022. It said it's for ages three and up. <gasps> Yay. Um, and it's little sparkly. Look how it's sparkling. Um, lots of fun, just little fun, spooky uh, pumpkins, ghosts, all the things. Um, in this one, the stickers tell you what page and what page number to use them on. The cool thing about this book, probably why it is geared for younger, the stickers do not have to go in a certain spot, okay? Um, some of the, the next two that I'll show you, they very much are, they belong in a certain spot. So that's probably part of the reason it's geared for younger. This is Little Sticker Dolly Dressing Halloween. This is for ages four and up. Now th this one, um, again, the title of the page and the page number. And then I explained this, like, where was this when I was little? These are like sticker paper dolls. So you dress the little girl in the different outfit that goes with the respective page. So super fun. We just have paper, literal paper, paper dolls, and they all ripped. <laughs> um, now this is geared for a little bit older, sticker dolly dressing Halloween. Um, it's, it's not the little sticker dolly dressing, it's the big one. So it's a physically bigger book, and it is definitely geared for um, older, um, I think this one is seven, and, seven or eight and up. The stickers have, they're smaller, um, and there are more per page. Um, so it's helpful for older kids because a, a lot more fine motor skills are involved with these. So this is little, uh, or sticker dolly dressing Halloween. Now these two are new for 2022, Halloween things to make and do, Halloween mazes. This book is for six and up, super fun, all sorts of maze options and not your traditional mazes either. I really um, enjoy that. But if you get stuck, don't worry because the answers are in the back. Uh -oh. um, Halloween things to make and do. 
so many fun crafty options that you and your kids can make together or that you can make in the book. So this is just a really fun look at the Frankenstein with the footprint. So cute. So love, love that. This is not necessarily Halloween specific, but it is monster. So I was going to show it. You can have monster fingerprint activities all year round, but this one, um, oh, there's Medusa from Greek Miss. So it has different things for you to make, different monsters on each one. Um, this looks like the Cyclops from, um, but it had two eyes, so maybe it's not, but it gives you different things on each page to design with their fingerprints and this rainbow colored section right here is an ink pad it's so cute and then you have a little fun um keepsake with their fingerprints now a couple of picture books chapter books that are halloween specific spiders spider queens halloween this one came out last year it's in our phonics reader set and these are all centered on a specific vowel sound so this is the long e sound with the double e in queen and halloween now all this whole series is the cutest they're hilarious the whole text rhymes and the main characters are all some kind of animal or insect and they're really funny so it's a they're great for pre-readers just to hear the rhyming to prime their brain to get them ready to start reading um, and they're also wonderful first readers for kids who are beginning uh, or are learning to read and need fluency practice. And then this one is just a really fun Halloween one in the Billy and the Mini Monster series, which is one of my son's favorite chapter book series from Us Born Books and More. Um, it is a graphic novel. It's full color. They're hilarious. These are not spooky monsters. Um, they're just really hilarious, mischievous, they do silly things, monsters. And this is the Halloween one in the book. This series does not have to be read in order, but there is a book one, and it tells you how the monsters came into Billy's life. So it's kind of important to read that one first. I think it's called Monsters After Dark or Monsters in the Dark. That's the only thing with that. So um, I hope you enjoyed all of these Halloween books. They're all on my website, SuzanneShearsBooks.com. And thank you, thank you, thank you.